I can confirm that at 10.59 today, police were called to report of a car explosion at the women's hospital at Liverpool City Centre. Police immediately attended along with Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service and the North West Regional Ambulance Service. Unfortunately, I can confirm that one person has died and another has been taken to hospital where he is being treated for his injuries, which thankfully are not life threatening. <coughs> So far, we understand that the car involved was a taxi, which pulled up at the hospital shortly before the explosion occurred. Work is still ongoing to establish what has happened and could say, take some time before we're in a position to <coughs> confirm anything. We are keeping an open mind as to what caused the explosion, but given how it has happened and out of caution, counter-terrorism police are leading the investigation, supported by Merseyside Police. To fellow there, boys. He's just been on to Day Perry. Then Day Perry's home. He's all right. He's part of his ear come off. He's had his soles on. He's burst both ear drums. He's got a small fracture in his back and all shrapnel. What it was, he picked the fella up on fucking Kenny, and the fella wanted to go to town. There was a memorial on in town, so that must have been his plan to fucking blow all the people who were at the memorial. The little rat. But because he got stuck in bad traffic, he said to Day, "Do me a favour, go to the women's. I need to go there first. And at this point, Day said, I was thinking he's moody, this fella. Because he didn't think for one minute he was doing that. As he pulls up outside the women's, the fella starts proper vibrating loads. And he's vibrating loads. So Day turns around, like, thinking, what the fuck? And he starts flashing. So Day goes to jump out the taxi. And it fucking blows up. He said he got knocked out un unconscious and just woke up. And, like, someone had pulled him away from the car. He said he'd seen a car on fire. So he didn't lock the fella in. But um, he seen what was happening and fucking jumped out the car and exploded and that. So the scene at Rutland Avenue um, seems to be being a bit escalated. We've got several more police matrix vans. Uh, we've been asked to step further back from uh, as the cordon has extended. More armed police have just entered the street. Uh, significant Really large number of, of armed police are now in the street um, and there's just a lot more activity going on here um, we're not sure what that means but having been fairly quiet for a while it does feel like things have, are being stepped up now um, lots more police in the area as you can see lots of people stood out wondering what's going on um, definite increase in, in activity um, in this scene that has been going on for several hours now we know it is linked to um, the explosion that killed a person today outside the Liverpool Women's Hospital. We don't know exactly how. There are negotiators on site um, and as I say, um, significantly more armed police have just arrived.